Philippine Coast Guard in 2018, ending the year fully equipped. This year, the Philippine Coast Guard picked up where it left off last year by continuously boosting its force to fulfill its major mission as guardians of the country's waters. The arrival of acquired foreign-made vessels into the country and the deployment of some Coast Guard personnel to the Bureau of Customs for Joint Mission were some of the highlights of the organization this year. Japan Made Vessels A project that started in 2016 was finally completed this year with the arrival of the last multi-role response vessel from Japan in August. The project called the Maritime Safety Capability Improvement Project was curated to acquire 10 on loan 44-meter multi-role response vessels from Japan. It is aimed to intensify the country's maritime security as the vessels were deployed in the Philippine Seas to be utilized in time of sea accidents, search and rescue missions, as well as anti-smuggling and anti-piracy operations. The delivery of the 10 multi-role response vessels started in 2016. They were named after the primary lighthouses in the country to cite the important role of the lighthouse as an aid to navigation to mariners. The 10 vessels, which arrived in separate dates since then, were commissioned as Barcoing Republica in Pilipinas BRP, Tabataha, BPR Malabrigo, BRP Malapasqua, BRP Capones, BRP Suluan, BRP Sindangan, BRP Cape San Agustin, BRP Cabra, BRP Bagake and BRP Capingana. The vessels were acquired through a P7.3 billion loan agreement with Japan International Cooperation Agency JICA. According to Rear Admiral Elson Hermagino, PCG Commandant, the vessels are also being utilized to provide assistance in the control of oil pollution and protection of marine environment. French-built patrol boats It was also in 2018 that the acquisition of four French-made fast patrol boats were completed. The 424-meter fast patrol boats were acquired through an agreement between the Department of Transportation and Maritime Technology Expert and Shipbuilder OCEASA of France in 2014. The deal was made to strengthen the Philippine Coast Guard's enforcement in maritime safety and security and marine environmental protection. The first two vessels were delivered in August and September this year while the last two boats arrived early December. The patrol boats will be fielded for anti-smuggling missions in the country as three of the vessels will be jointly operated by the Coast Guard and the Bureau of Customs. The Coast Guard also said that an 82-meter offshore patrol vessel is scheduled to arrive in August 2019. Hermagino said the procurement of the vessels includes training, provision of spare parts and technical assistance after the delivery date. Customs mission in November, the militarization of the Customs Bureau was implemented, wherein the PCG was tasked to deploy a number of its personnel to assist the embattled Bureau in its customs operations, especially in law enforcement and anti-smuggling missions. The Coast Guard is tasked to assist in the enforcement of laws on fisheries, immigration, tariff and customs, forestry, firearms and explosives, human trafficking, dangerous drugs, and controlled chemicals, transnational crimes, the Customs Modernization and Tariff Act, and other applicable laws within the maritime jurisdiction of the Philippines prior to the development. There has been an agreement between the two agencies on jointly carrying out anti-smuggling operations. During the start of the joint operations of the two agencies with the armed forces of the Philippines, the PCG expressed its intention to donate at least five 11-meter fast boats to the Bureau of Customs to strengthen its anti-smuggling drive. Hermagino said that they are ready to give five boats or depending on the Customs Bureau's requirement. He said that there is a non-government organization from Europe who wants to donate boats made in Sri Lanka to the Philippines.
The boats are expected to be delivered by the second quarter of 2019. Once donated, the boats will no longer be manned by the Coast Guard but by customs personnel. Vessel traffic management system aiming to prevent yet another deadly collision of vessels. The first ever vessel traffic management system that oversees maritime traffic was launched in Cebu in February. The Vessel Traffic Management System VTMS, is composed of VTMS Control Center and three radar stations that are strategically located at the headquarters of Coast Guard District Central Visayas, Talise, Bantelanao and Innerbridge to have full coverage of vessel movements. The system aims to prevent maritime traffic along Cebu Mactan Channel, the port of Cebu, according to Coast Guard was considered as the first port to have a traffic management system because it is the second largest domestic port in the Philippines and a maritime hub for the Visayan region. It is also one of the busiest maritime traffic in the country. Source, news.mb.com.ph Philippine Coast Guard sa 2018, pagtatapos ng taon na kumpleto sa kagamitan, sa taong ito. Kinuha ng Philippine Coast Guard kung saan ito natigil noong nakaraang taon sa patuloy na pagpapalakas ng lakas nito upang matupad ang pangunahing misyon nito bilang mga taga pag-alaga ng tubig ng bansa. Ang pagdating ng nakuha ng mga bakitagang ginawa sa bansa at ang pagpapadala ng ilang mga tauhan ng Coast Guard sa Bureau of Customs para sa joint mission ay ilan sa mga highlight ng organisasyon sa taong ito. Mga sasakyang ginawa ng Japan ang isang proyekto na nagsimula noong 2016 ay natapos sa taong ito sa pagdating ng huling multi-role response vessel mula sa Japan noong Agosto. Ang proyektong tinatawag na Maritime Safety Capability Improvement Project ay nakirit para makuha ang 10 vessels na tumutugon sa 44 na meter multi-role vessel mula sa Japan. Layunin nito na palakasin ang seguridad ng maritime ng bansa habang ang mga barko ay inilunsad sa dagat ng Pilipinas upang magamit sa oras ng aksidente sa dagat, mga misyon sa paghahanap at pagsagip. Pati na rin ang mga operasyon ng anti-smuggling at anti-piracy, ang paghahatid ng sampung multi-role response vessels na nagsimula noong 2016. Sila ay pinangalanan pagkatapos ng pangunahing mga pariola sa bansa upang banggitin ang mahalagang papel ng pariola bilang isang tulong sa pag-navigate sa mga Meronero. Ang 10 vessels na dumating sa magkakahiwalay ng mga pecha mula noon ay kinomisyon bilang barko ng Republika ng Pilipinas, BRP, Tabitaha, BPR Malabrigo, BRP Malapascua, BRP Kekones, BRP Suluan, BRP Sindanga, BRP Cape San Agustin, BRP Cabrera, BRP Bagakay at BRP Cape and Ano. Ang mga barko ay nakuha sa pamamagitan ng isang 7.3 na bilyong piso na kasunduan sa pautang sa Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, ayon sa Rear Admiral Elsin Hermogino, komandante ng PCG.
ginagamit din ang mga vessel upang magbigay ng tulong sa kontrol ng polusyon ng langis at proteksyon ng kapaligiran sa dagat. French built patrol boats ito ay din sa 2018 na ang pagkuha ng apat na pranses na ginawa mabilis patrol bangka ay nakumplito. Ang apat na 24 na meter fast patrol boats ay nakuha sa pamamagitan ng isang kasunduan sa pagitan ng kagawaran ng transportasyon at dalubhasang dalubhasa sa teknolohiya at tagapagtayo ng barko na OCEA. S.A. Nang France noong 2014, ang pakikitungo ay ginawa upang palakasin ang pagpapatupad ng Philippine Coast Guard sa kaligtasan at siguridad sa dagat at proteksyon sa kapaligiran ng dagat. Ang unang dalawang barko ay naihatid noong Agosto at Septyembre sa taong ito habang ang huling dalawang bangka ay dumating na maaga noong Disyembre. Ang mga patrol boats ay ipapatupad para sa mga anti-smuggling mission sa bansa kung tatlo sa mga barko ang magkakasamang pinamamahalaan ng Coast Guard at ng Bureau of Customs. Sinabi rin ng Coast Guard na ang isang 82 meter offshore patrol vessel ay nakatakdang dumating sa Agosto taong 2011. Sinabi ni Hermogino na ang pagkuha ng vessels ay kabilang ang pagsasanay. Pagbibigay ng ekstrang bahagi at technical na tulong pagkatapos ng pecha ng paghahatid, misyon ng customs noong Nobyembre, ang militarisasyon ng Customs Bureau ay ipinatupad. Kung saan ang PCG ay may katungkulan na maglagay ng bilang ng mga tauhan nito upang tulungan ang binoong Bureau sa mga operasyong kaugalian nito. Lalo na sa mga nagpapatupad ng batas at mga anti-smuggling mission, ang Coast Guard ay may katungkulan ng tulungan ng pagpapatupad ng mga batas sa mga pangisdan, immigration, torpe at kaugalian. Panggugubat, armas at explosibo, human trafficking, mapanganib na droga, at kontroladong mga kemikal, mga transnational crime. Customization, Modernization and Tariff Act at iba pang naaangkop batas sa loob ng maritime jurisdiction ng Pilipinas, bago ang pagunlad. Nagkaroon ng kasunduan sa pagitan ng dalawang ahensya sa magkasamang pagsasakatuparan ng mga operasyon ng pagpupuslit. Sa pagsisimula ng magkasanib na operasyon ng dalawang ahensya sa Armed Forces of the Philippines, Ipinahayag ng PCG ang kanilang intensyon na mag-abuloy ng hindi bababa sa limang labing isang meter fast boat sa Bureau of Customs upang palakasin ang anti-smuggling drive nito. Sinabi ni Hermogino na handa silang magbigay ng limang bangka o depende sa pangangailangan ng Customs Bureau. Sinabi niya na mayroong isang non-government organization mula sa Europa na gustong magbigay ng mga bangka na ginawa sa Sri Lanka sa Pilipinas. Ang mga bangka ay inaasahan na may lahatid ng ikalawang isang kapat ng 2019, kapag naibigay na, ang mga bangka ay hindi na pinapatakbo ng Coast Guard kundi ng mga tauhan ng customs. Sistema ng pamamahala ng trapiko ng daluyan, ang pagpuntiriya upang maiwasan ang isa pang nakamamatay na banggaan ng mga barko. Ang unang sistema ng pamamahala ng trapiko ng daluyan na namamahala sa trapiko sa karagatan ay inilunsad sa Cebu noong Pebrero. Ang Vessel Traffic Management System, VTMS, ay binubuo ng VTMS Control Center at tatlong istasyon ng radar na matatagpuan sa punong tanggapan ng Coast Guard District Central Visayas, Talisay. Bantalinaw at Interbridge upang magkaroon ng ganap na saklaw ng mga paggalaw ng barko, ang sistema ay naglalayong pigilan ng maritime traffic sa Cebu, Mactan Channel, ang Port of Cebu. Ayon sa Coast Guard, ay itinuturing na unang port na magkaroon ng isang sistema ng pamamahala ng trapiko dahil ito ang ikalawang pinakamalaking domestic port sa Pilipinas at isang maritime hub para sa rehiyon ng Visayan. Isa rin ito sa pinakaabalang trapiko sa karagatan sa bansa, pinagmulan, news.mv.com.ph.
Thank you for watching and hearing the latest military news. Keep up to date with the latest military news on the Update Defense channel. Hope you enjoy it.